newest of the newest girls, he don't compare the newest to the newest girls to each other. Because I feel like the newest to the newest girls, they are kind of like in like a new league. You know what I'm saying? Like they're the, the, the new league. He don't compare them to each other. He compares the new girls to me. He compares the old girls to me. He compares everybody to me. Everybody's so doing so good and I'm doing so bad. Yet he always compares somebody to me. When another girl drops an album or drops a project, they could do 25K. They could do 20K. They could do this, this, and that. Because people are not going to talk shit about it. They're going to talk shit about it for a whole fucking week. If I don't go top 10 with one song on a billboard, I get stripped down. Stripped the fuck down. And I don't go fuck if I have an accent. I know my ass could fucking rap. And I'm witty as fuck. That's why I'm so good at arguing. I'm witty as fuck. That's why my fucking first manager told me, like, bitch, you need to be a rapper. You're quick. But no matter how many times people drag me, no matter how many people tell me that I have a fucking accent, no matter how many times people fucking put down, like Mr. Joe Bunn, to put down every single thing that I put down, I will never quit, nigga. I will never quit like you. I am not a quitter. You quit on your passion. You quit on your passion. I'm not going to quit, bro. That's the issue. That's the issue with you. You could critique everybody. You critique every single body. And stop being a hater, bro. Stop being a fucking hater. If somebody got 400 million fucking dollars... For a deal, and you talk about yeah, well they got a tour this this and that for nigga. I fucking tour till I'm sixty five. If somebody give me four hundred million dollars, four hundred million dollars that you don't have, stop hating on everybody. Every everything that somebody do good, you always hate on it. That's bad. That's terrible. You always hating on something, bro. You always hating on something. You always hating on something. It, 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 it sets you apart from being a critic, a critic, a critic from a hater. That's why sometimes I, I, I sometimes value academics' point of views because he will say mostly the truth than being a straight up hater. You be a hater. How you hating on a nigga got $400 million? Four hundred million dollars. I tore till I'm ninety, nigga. What are you talking about? You hate on niggas and you hate on bitches. Thank you. I'm about a whole Coke brand, Cardi giving. Bitch, I don't do Coke. I don't do Perk. I don't smoke weed. I don't do no fucking drugs, bitch. So don't be with the, the there's a Coke brand. I never fucking play with my nose, bitch. Only time I play with my nose is when I did fucking surgery, bitch. That's when I, when I, when I got my nose done. I never put no fucking substance in my fucking nose, bitch. Fuck you. This ain't no Coke brand, nigga. This is the truth, nigga. This is the truth. This is me speaking the truth. I don't do Kirk, Coke. I don't do perks. I don't pop pills. I don't pop shit. Only shit I pop is exceptional, bitch. I don't smoke weed. I don't do none of that. Shut the fuck up. Coke ran my ass, bitch. This ain't no fucking Coke ran, bitch. I don't do fucking drugs, bitch. Somebody said Cardi B a crash out. Yup. Yup. I'm crashing on these niggas bumpers because I'm tired of it. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. I am so fucking tired. I'm tired of being these fucking, um, what's that shit called? 
when people just be picking on you and picking on you, picking on you, I, I'm tired of that shit. I fucking forgot that that mm, this orange juice is fresh, fresh. The Habibi put his whole fucking fingers on it. He didn't even wash his hands because it got extra flavor. What am I, your little fucking flunky, your little fucking mob that you could just come at for no fucking reason? I never disrespected this man, and you always trying me and trying me and trying me and trying me, trying me, trying me. And it's not even about my album, nigga. You try me for every fucking goddamn thing. I really, I really think, you, you know what I think? I really, 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 really think that a Dominican bitch gave him that real good fucking pussy. And then some fuck shit happened. Now he got something against Dominican women. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> but come on, bro. Like, what is it? I want to know what I did to you. I want to know what I did to you that you, it, it, I feel like it all, it all really started when he wanted to interview Tasha K. Then after that, I was like, you know what? Maybe he wasn't trying to be funny. Maybe he was just trying to be different or edgy. Nah, this nigga talks shit about me every two months for no fucking reason. Whether I drop a song or whether I don't drop nothing. And then these motherfuckers talking about like, oh, Cardi's crashing out. Bitch, I, you're not me, so you don't see it. I see it every fucking, every two months. I said, damn, how is Cardi spreading so hard because her fans want music? This is not even about my fans. This is about Joe Button. This is not even about my fans. And then you lie, too. You lie. You lie. And you know what? And you know what? I'd rather just speak my mind because a lot of these artists don't be speaking their fucking mind. And that's why they be going crazy. That's why they be fucking spending... Thousands and thousands and thousands of fucking dollars on therapy and shit like that. That's why some of them be fucking doing drugs and shit like that. Because it's like, we have programmed these fucking artists. We have programmed artists and celebrities to stay shut. Because if they if they speak their mind, they either crazy, they either crazy, or they fucking losing their mind and shit like that. No. These are feelings. You should be able to express your fucking feelings. And I'm expressing my feelings. Because when you keep shit bo bottled up inside, you will fucking outburst. I'm not keeping my shit in. I'm not keeping my shit in because I've been wanting to fucking, I've been wanting to talk shit for a long time. You've been bothering me for a fucking long time. So I'm going to scratch that itch. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, but but Joe Budden be complimenting Cardi. No. No. This is the thing that, 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 that Joe Budden be doing. He be like, yeah, I love Cardi, but no, you don't, nigga. You talk shit about everything about I do. Then you compare me to other bitches. I don't even compare myself to other bitches. I don't even compare myself to other bitches. I've been working with bitches since I was 18 years old. Since I was 18 years old, let me tell you something. I was in a field. Where bitches had fake titties and fake ass. Fake titties and fake ass. Fucking exotic looking assholes and shit like that. Guess what? If I, will be, if I worried about how these other bitches look, 
then I will never go to work and strip because it's like that will make me fucking an insecure ass bitch. So now I'm again in life again. I'm in an industry where I'm with other bitches. I'm not looking at other bitches play because when you look at other bitches play, you become you 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 think you you don't focus on yourself. I don't give a fuck what these bitches got going on because these bitches don't put money on my table. The only bitches that put money on the table is the bitches that I work with. That's the only time they put on my uh, food on my table. Other than that, when they work on their shit, I can't be worrying about that because that don't make me money. That doesn't make me money. I never been the bitch to type of compare compare myself to to nobody. You wanna know why? Because I always knew I was special. I always been special. I always been special. They could be, they could be, they could be girls that look better than me. They could be girls that could rap better than me. They could be girls that could strip better than me. They could be girls, uh, but it, it always been something special about me. I, 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 I'm, I'm just a special bitch. So I'm not worried about nobody else. I know when I bring it, I'ma come with it, whether it's music or when I was stripping. When I was stripping, it's like I right, just there's, there's fifty bitches in the club, but I know I'ma make money because. I'm me. There's something special about me. And that's and that's how I see this rap game. Like it's like, okay, like, okay, like it's like, yeah, there's there's girls that could rap their asses off. There's girls that are very entertaining. There's girls that are very beautiful. But I know there's something special about me. That I I don't die. I haven't put out an album in seven years and, and a bitch just can't die. Cause I'm special. Because I'm special. And you can't take that special light from me, nigga. I don't know what it is. I, I was anointed with this specialness. My fucking grandma told me since I was five years old, you're going to be somebody, bitch. You're going to be somebody. I don't know what the fuck. And my whole life, I always wonder, like, what, 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 what am I meant to be? Because I went to a school for musical theaters and technology. Like, I used to, I used to sing when I was younger. But in high school, I felt like I wasn't the best singer. But for some reason, teachers used to be like, yo, you're going to be, you're going to be famous one day. And I always used to be like, but what is it about me? What is it about me that people always say that I was born with this light, nigga? I was born with this light. I was, I was destined to be this shit. And nobody's going to take that from me. Nobody. I've been dragged through the mud. I've been dragged. I've been dragged. I've been doxxed. I, 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 I had niggas got in a Remember all that time in fucking during the pandemic, I got to get a nigga arrested because he was fucking harassing my daughter. Nobody could take this shit from me, no matter what I go through. Bitches could come and go and stay. I don't care. They could come, go and stay. I do not care. They don't, they, they don't think that don't bother me. I'm special. It's something special about me. And in life, I really hope that every bitch and every nigga go and think. And matter of fact, there's something special about you too, Joe Button. There's something really special about you too because there's a lot of music critics, but people take your criticism very seriously because there is something special about you. There is something special about you. But there's something special about me that none of, none of, these, none of these bitches, none of these niggas could take from me.